There we go. Now it's working. Hey, what's going on, guys? I am Elvis Rico, and I'm going to make some uh, butternut squash. You know what I'm saying? And when you start out with this butternut squash stuff, when you cut them, be very careful. These suckers are hard to cut. But you get them cut in half, take your time. If your finger's in the way, move it. It's that easy. So check it out. After you cut them open, you clean them out. And then you make like a little border, like a little swimming pool inside there for little tiny dudes, right? Just swim around. But clean it out really good. You just got to do some slashes down this, across like that. And it makes little squares. You can pop it out. Pop, 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 pop. All right? So, we'll get that going. Let me tilt this. I don't know how this is going to work anyway. So, got the butternut squash, right? So, I like to, uh, oh, here it is. Put some olive oil, a little bit of olive oil in each one. Olive oil, bam, 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 olive oil inside it, right? Oh, in the meantime, though, you want to go ahead and preheat the oven, boom, 400, 400, 400, all right? Now we're going to get going with the ingredients. One bowl, a good one. Spoon. Boy, I wanna see. Okay, so we need. We're gonna get uh, butter and squash. Go. You know what you need to do? After you put the oil on the butter and squash, go ahead and. Uh, Put a little salt pepper on them. We uh, like the kind you grind that you uh, get, like at uh, you know that you have it like uh, Texas Longhorn or uh, Outback. Oh, never mind. I mean, uh, you know what I'm talking about. At Safeways. That's what you got. So salt, pepper, ease the bad boys up. Boom. All right. And the salt. We've got salt rolling on these bad boys. All right. Now in the bowl, we want to mix. Okay, we're gonna double this recipe because Amanda's friend came up and she got me cooking like three half, three of them. So that's you know two, four, six of them. Go figure. So double everything. I accidentally got whipping cream instead of heavy cream. But they're basically the same thing. It's just a heavy cream. If you're baking something that had to go in the refrigerator, it would hold longer. So the whipping cream is fine to use. Trust me, it'll still be good. So, ask for a cup. We want two cups. All right. Two cups of this heavy cream. This shit would open up. Whipping cream. Whipping cream. Of course, of course, I'm recording, so it's going to give me hassle. So, ah, here we go. There's one. One cup. Down. All right. So we're doubling up everything. So it's uh, two cups instead of one. All right. So two cups of the whipping cream. Boom. Then we got, uh, what have we got there? Now, it says five garlic cloves. Whoa, uh, huh? I don't know. What's that? Would be like five of these spoons? A little one? A teaspoon? Would well, that be about a Two, three, four, five. <laughs> that was gonna get that. Except that's old school, able people, right? 
Okay, so we're gonna have that. We need the uh, Italian cheese for the rest. It says four cheese Italian. I go above and beyond. Six cheese Italian blend, brother. That's what I'm talking. Damn below! It says uh, one cup. What is this? This is uh, eight ounces, so like that's what? Two cups? So let's just see, shall we? We need two cups. This is one. Two, yeah, there we go. Two cups. Two cups. And then one cup of spinach. But of course, we're doubling. Two. Mix all that stuff up nice and good, right? Um, what else did I ask for? Oh, okay. So it says it wants uh, some kosher salt. So about a tablespoon, a little dash, boom, right? And then it says also some uh, fresh pepper. All right, the fresh as you get. Alright. Now, it also asks for some thyme seasoning. If you don't have thyme, you can always use um, some basil or oregano. Or if you have a rosemary essential oil, just a drop of that and boom. But I don't want to go upstairs to get my rosemary, so we're going to go with this stuff. So, I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of each one, a basil and oregano, because I live on the edge, baby, right, boom. I just wanted to I just wanted to record making this squash because this is this is an awesome squash. And it's easy to make. And boom! Right there. That's all you gotta do, my friend. So we mix all that stuff together. And uh, there you go, we roast it for about 50 minutes. Five zero at four hundred. Alright? Let's mix this stuff up. Hold off, we're not done yet. Smooth up in ya! Woo -hoo -hoo. Maybe this will only make four of them, and I'll just love that we'll only have four instead of six. What do you think? No? Oh! There's Amanda right there texting me saying she's on her way home. And then what's a dinner? Nah. I told her I was sleeping, but I went ahead and said, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and make some dinner so okay so now we got the mix right Ooh, can you see this damn sun hold on hold on hold on a moment though boom is that better there we go okay so you got all that mixed up right Boom! Don't want to spill on the computer. Okay, so we're gonna put some in each squash. And make that as easily as possible. And like that. Boom! Boom! That's some good stuff too right there, man. It's healthy for you? Well, I guess, right? I mean, 
not like it's got a bunch of sugar in it. It's got cheese. Now, if you're on a low carb, low dairy diet, then this might not be the way to go. But all in all, you know, healthy. Good for you? I think so. So, oh, barely enough. Look at that. So, one, we didn't get enough for. So, if we did double it, so basically, pretty much it would be overflowing. So, there'd be so much cut. These are kind of small. Uh, squashes, so we were able to check the disease, but we'll just cook that one for, you know, shits and giggles. Why do they call it shits and giggles? It's shitting and giggling at the same time? I don't know, shits and giggles. Why are you shitting and giggling? Unless you're stoned or something. Hmm. Anyways, so, this is what you got, my friends. Butternut squash. Good stuff, man. So, right before we put it in, um, we, uh, hold on. Okay, so, um, remember to put foil on your pans because that juice is going to drip out and get all over the place. It's just like easier to clean up when you're done. Um, basically, that was it. What, uh, what, uh, make sure you put in the chicken broth and the spinach, just all that stuff. Just go over the video. Uh, did I mention the chicken broth? Yeah, double it. It's a cup of chicken broth. Use a half a cup. Put a cup in if you're doubling it. Or everything else I've done. Anyway, so, cook it for 50 minutes. And I'll show you the outcome in a little bit, my friends. Boom! The nothing down the soul. la la so as I'm sitting here cleaning up the kitchen after making the butternut squash, and it's in the oven, you guys will see it here, man. I'm listening to Hair Nation, right? The 80s rock heavy, you know, hair band. Can you actually jam to this song anymore? I'm, you know, I'm just like wingers. She's only 17. And we're all like hitting 50. They should probably stop just playing that, maybe? These guys don't actually like get together and sing that. That's one of their songs. She's only 17. Hashtag not me. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay, we're back with my butternut squash. You're probably wondering why I have gloves on with white residue on it. Two things. I'm either a big time drug lord in the back room, I was just splitting kilos of cocaine, or I was making bath bombs between the cooking. You, you, you make the decision. Anyways, time to take the butternut squash out and check it. Boom! Ooh, excellent. Look at that. Oh, baby. So, you want to test to make sure that it's done. You just take a knife, voila, and poke, poke into the butternut squash. And it slides in there nicely, boom. You're ready. Right? Boom, nice. Slide it in there. Like butter. That's what I'm talking. Boom. So there you go, my friends. Can you see that? Oh, maybe I'll turn the camera over there, huh? Check this out. Boom! Butternut squash. That's right. Delish. Good for you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Want the recipe? We want tape. And pay attention. Or email me, and I'll give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Well, we can do. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you later. Peace, love, and go empowered.